Exercise 1. University's Calendar. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the International Language Center for the 2000-2001 academic year. We hope this year will be a year of success for you. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of our calendar for the first quarter. The orientation for new students will be held next Thursday. August 31st. September 4th will be our holiday. That is Labor Day, so there will be no school on that day. The first day of class will be on Tuesday, September 5th. About one month later, there will come another holiday, Thanksgiving Day. That's October 9th. There is no school on that Monday. November 9th will be our last day of class. That's Thursday. The following day will be exam day. Please remember that's November 10th and be prepared for the examination. I'd like to tell you that regular attendance at this school is necessary in all classes and lectures. We expect at least 90% attendance. Attendance is taken by each subject teacher. You know you cannot succeed in school if attendance is irregular. Absences of 20% or more will result in students being placed on probation for one quarter. Continued absences may result in the student being required to withdraw from the school. It's our expectation you will all grow to realize your full potential and contribute your talents to this year's activities. Exercise 2. About the coursework. Hello, everyone. Before you start your course, we would like to tell you a little about the background of how the course is designed. You will have an opportunity to discuss the emphasis you would like the course to have in the first two units. We are confident you will benefit from the course if you can agree on what is important to do and how you would like it to be done. The emphasis of this course is on observing how native speakers use English, describing how the language is used, discussing difficulties, and practicing the language as it is really used. Much of the material, particularly in the second part of each unit, may seem simple from a structural and vocabulary point of view, that is. The emphasis, however, is not on knowing nor even understanding such language but on being able to use it yourself. This course is not for those who want to know something about English, but for those who wish to use it effectively as a means of spoken communication. The following assumptions are made throughout the course. 1. It is possible to study the spoken language and this is in no way inferior to the written language. 2. Some students find grammar rules helpful, others do not, but nobody finds rules helpful which are full of exceptions. 3. It helps to learn more words, but it often helps more to learn to use those you already know more effectively. 4. At your level, discussing the language and how it is used is an essential element in learning. 5. It helps to use authentic materials. This course is not for those who want to know, but for those who want to use the language. The most important objective of the course is to help you to be yourself in English.